So we have here our colleagues, uh, journalists, and they're following us through the Google Hangouts. And in uh, maybe 10 th seconds, we will start our YouTube broadcast, uh, looking to the cameras and um, uh, speaking to everybody from the athletics family about um, their program. And uh, after then, we will start our Google King Hangout session. Uh, including now for Mr. Bubka, we just talked to all our journalists. We're very happy to see everybody of them and hope that they will be as well happy to communicate with us. So, we are all, we are ready. Okay, okay so. Dear colleagues, dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are very happy to welcome you for the online launch of the program of Mr. Sergei Bubka, the IWAF presidency candidate. Let me remind you that earlier this year Mr. Bubka announced his decision to stand for the presidency and now the much-awaited moment has come to launch the program and the candidate's vision and answer the question of some media. My name is Alex Mashchenko. I'm here to moderate uh, the presentation, which has its main slogan, taking athletics to new heights. Technologies are here now with us uh, to go to the new heights, as well as making discussions of the athletics future even more global. We are running now live, uh, live online through the YouTube channel, and we also have a Google Hangout session with uh, some media uh, and the media representatives can uh, later ask uh, the questions and we will answer them, surely all of them, we will try surely uh, to, to answer all of them. Um, uh, we sent the program earlier to media, so we have also some questions submitted by email and also uh, I hope that uh, we, will, we will have possibilities uh, to uh, to answer uh, to answer them and uh, may you can also uh, look for the athletics 2015.org uh, website uh, where the program is launched and you can find and download the PDF file of Mr. Bubka's uh, program as well as media files. It was the introduction, sorry for the long introduction. No problem. Uh, but we, uh, I, I hope that we will deliver the other information later. But now it is uh, time to, to pledge the world to Mr. Uh, Sergei Bubka, the IWAF uh, Vice President, member of the IOC Executive Board, Ukraine NOC President and Olympic Champion. Thank you. Please. Thank you, Alex. Uh, dear friends, dear colleagues from Athletics family, President and staff of Athletics National Federation, as well media, journalists and everyone who join us in this very special day. I am very honored to share my program with you today. Take into account the importance of technology in our days, we thought a lot in which way to communicate, how to approach, how to deliver the program to everyone all over the world. And we decided to use through YouTube and Google Hangouts so that everyone who is interested in the future of athletics will be with us today. Of course, it takes time through many months to meet the members of IWF family, national federation, representatives of our sport, athletes, coaches, partners, to have discussion and to engage them in collaboration. What will be the future? What should be included to the program for athletics? For that, I very appreciate and very thankful for everyone who collaborate and share the ideas, recommendation, and of course some issues, some problems of our sport. Let's speak to my vision for 2025. And of course, we very fortunate to be number one Olympic sport. We are strong and unique family. And of course, it's my intention for the future to overcome some challenges. And of course, it's very important, this is youth, how we can engage the youth, how we bring them interest to athletics. And I consider this is very important part of our successful future. Of course, the IWF composed by member federation, 
and the National Federation. It's our key players, our main stakeholders, and we must look how to support them, how to present them innovation, programs, any ideas, financial support, to make that our National Federation very successful and very strong. Strong National Federation means strong IWF. And the heart of the program Vision 2025, the most intensive review of international athletics ever conducted should be done. We must review all the aspects, how we can deal, what is critical, what should be done new. For that, I consider we should open the forum from everyone who is interested about athletics to give their thoughts, to give their ideas and direct us in which way we can develop common future. And of course, I would like to create after recommendation, after all collected ideas, special working group dedicated to different subjects of our future, to engage primary national federation, our experts, our athletics partners, sponsors, to have a deep discussion. When we produce the findings and recommendation, we will present this to extraordinary IWF Congress to make decision, to move for next level, next step. This is the way how I would like to move through the Congress to build the successful future of our lovely sport. And of course, as culmination of such an extraordinary Congress, I would like to propose new format of World Athletics Gala. We are pleased to celebrate our heroes, our coaches, our officials, our member federation. This would be awards not only for athletes and uh, coaches, it will be more involvement for successful project, for some federation who is doing incredible progress. This is the way how I would like to pay tribute to our family for their great job for athletics. And of course, it's important for us to, to continue to bring new ideas. I think right now it's time for me to move to key pillars of my plan for the future of athletics. Dear friends, pillar number one, building on the legacy of our sport. The achievements of IWF leaders are truly tremendous. To build on these positive elements of legacy and, can, and continue to develop the IWF is our major objective. And of course, the number one and main priority for me in the program will be the use. What we can do to attract and engage in athletics our youth. I pledge that athletics will be engaged with young people. We have fantastic and great program of kids athletics, which really important for invo involvement of the youth. And this program exists, but we need to look how we do something more, how we integrate more this program on the school levels. And I consider it would be great to play athletics and also establish on the school levels athletics competition through the kids' athletics. And of course, recently, I just came from Karifta Games and I heard from my colleagues and friends on the island of Nevis it was fantastic school competition from age 6 to 12 and kids play athletics and enjoy it. And such an example I consider is very important for, for us to spread all over the world, to engage on the school levels, to make different relays, different grassroots attractive projects and competition for the kids. And next point, which really crucial for future success, of course, it's development program. We have incredible development program which progress through so many years. And of course, the biggest budget in IWF we spend for development. I would like to say that for me, development will be the key priority to develop our sport. And of course, 
development is very important for national federation. They expecting some new ideas. They expecting some new programs. And I consider we can discuss together. We can review and do the steps in needs and request of the federation. We have regional development centers, high performance training centers. This is very good centers, essential part of the future growth of our sport. But together with National Federation, we must look to review how we can use them more efficiently. And of course, it needs to hurt what should be done, what is direction, what kind of directors will lead RDC or HPTC. For that, I consider this is important to look what will be done by our centers. And I consider RDC should also play more bigger role with regard of development strategic plans of every member federation. Individual approach, big or small federation, but we need to look, we need to send our expert and to help them to develop successful plan for athletics in their countries. And of course, will be very important for HPTC to bring the best coaches who will contribute and share the knowledge and educate athletes and also educate local coaches. Because for us, it's really important role of the coaches. Coaches, it's our gold reserve, gold reserve of our sport. And I consider we must continue to invest and have to the Federation to get the best professional coaches and best experts. For that I consider through the experience, many times Federation asked me to help with some coaches to give them right direction. Is this person capable or not? For that I consider database of the coaches should be done by IAAF and provided to the member Federation to select right one, right one who will help us to make progress and to make great development of performances for our athletes. Let's speak about great history of athletics. We will not forget our heritage. We must remember, we must collect and we must present to the world. We should link to the museums all over the world. We should present our heritage. And this is, I consider, is very important to save and develop and motivate new generation to our sport through our heritage. For that, I would like to propose IWF History Commission, which will establish to preserve our heritage. Infrastructure, it's always, it's key. What kind of stadium, what kind of condition do we have synthetic tracks in every country on our planet. Sorry to say, but today still not every country has such a track. I consider in a few years we will be capable and able to deliver that every member of our federation will receive special track, synthetic track to have competition on very high level. Dear friends, Pillar number two, serving the athletics community. And of course, serving, this is very important words. We must, from IWF side, together with the staff, serve athletics. And of course, we, I know that in many countries, it's very limited local support for development of athletics. In some country, bigger. In some one, when I discussed with you, it's very limited. For that, I would like to tell you that for future, President of IWF and also IWF officials will pay official visit to see the member federation and to meet together with them leaders of the country, government, ministers, and discuss very deeply how they can do more, what will be helped from our side. I consider this is will increase stronger support from the state and help to develop athletics in your countries. And of course, it's important for us financial situation of our member federation. 
I consider that we should increase uh, grants for IWF. I remember through so many years the 15,000 we provided support to you. I believe we will be able and we must increase such a grant. As 2009 it was 25% cut but we look forward and we work for that to give you more also financial support. Of course I would like to speak very important always role of the athletes and coaches without athletes sport is not exist but we must invest we must give the best condition for our athletes provide scholarship provide scholarship and support also for the coaches who develop in star without coaches will be never success and this is also our treasure and our big value i can see the key area it's our professional staff. I would like to speak with regard first of IWF staff. We need to have top professional IWF staff to provide you full service. When you communicate in any time, you have really respond quick, correct and right communication with you. I consider this is very important area. We should bring professional staff, really top level, the brightest specialists who work for our sport. And of course, will be very, very important to deliver such a policy. I would like to propose and introduce position of CEO, Chief Executive Officer, who will closely work to ensure greater efficiency across all departments and every level of Athletics Federation. I would like to tell you that IWF president must be full-time job. I remember the wordings said by President Samaraj many years ago that president must be in office, must president must work hardly of interest of his sport. For that I consider this is very important must be full-time job. My next pillar, enhancing our beneficial partners with the, the, the IOC. And of course, through my experience with IOC since 1996, it's given me rights to say that athletics and the games are linked and interdependent. We should closely work to progress athletics in Olympic movement. We number one Olympic sport. We're very proud to be part and create exciting, successful games. And of course, I believe that we should enhance the role of IWF in the planning and delivery of Olympic competition. We should use IOC Olympic Solidarity Program to provide through the NOC more help for national federation. This opportunity must be used because this is additional uh, financial resource which really really helpful and of course we must work closely with IOC Commission because success must build together in the team. Pillar number four transforming athletics for the modern sporting era. This area is really has important role to play as today, technology changes the world and I have opportunity to speak directly to all of you. For that I consider and I can see how technology can contribute to present our sport better. And I think we need to present athletics in the best possible way using new cameras, digital chips, social media and other innovations which really help us to make our competition in the stadium and also in the television and through the social media more interesting and more attractive. Let's speak about regional competition, about format of such a competition. I know that exists very good competition like Balkanation, Karifta Games and other games in the region. 
We must to support such an event. We must to share the knowledge and experience that in every area such a competition should be developed. And we must to work together to help area association to create strong link in also regional, in area Grand Prix competition. And I would like to say also importance for our future. Mixed gender competition. This area we have many opportunities and we must to move to this direction too. We have fantastic competition in the stadium. But today we have also opportunity to go closer to the public, to the people. These opportunities can be on the squares, on the streets, can be in the shopping mall, where you can build tribune, when you bring the show, we can bring the music for the athletes. And I remember myself when I was athlete, I also participate in this competition and they're very attractive. I can say it's also very important for the future. Through my experience, in 1990 I established in Ukraine, in my home city Donetsk, Paul Volt Stars competition. That time I was 25 years old and I saw the progress. I saw how people love it and excited. Some years later, we start to organize outdoor pole vault competition on the heart of our capital in Ukraine, on Independence Square. And I again repeat, this is the modern way and very exciting. Recently, I believe decided to make such events official if we do everything according to our rules and regulation. This is great. Results of performance will be legal and records will be accepted and registered. I think this is the way how we should go closer to the people in different circumstances, in different conditions to organize different type of such competition. Of course, mutually beneficial cooperation between IWF and the Diamond League. And of course, World Athletics Challenge is crucial for our athletics future. I would like to say that we need to look to international calendar how to make the balance between national competition, continental competition and also international competition. This is a very important issue which we need to, to develop together. I would like to bring attention to marathons and road running races. It's important for the future. People love athletics, people enjoy the running and this area is very important for our future. And I would like to say that families join and come to participate in mass participation. Beside of official events, we should also give opportunity for amateurs, for runners to join such races and to be part of our family. Like this, we will build healthy society. They will enjoy the running and also kids can see what is important in their life. Sport and athletics, of course. And I consider that now time to speak for Pillar 5, protecting the integrity of athletics. This is a very important area. And of course, all of us know that 21st century, it's really danger for sport, danger because of doping. And we need to continue, work strongly and unite our family to show clear zero, zero tolerance for doping. And of course, this part, we can be successful if you pay more attention and educate our athletes, but not forget about entourage who surround the athletes, who educate them. That is also very, very important for all of us. I would like to say that IUC Entourage Commission, and I am chair of this commission, and the members, we discuss the issue about entourage, and we propose sanction of entourage, and of course we are pleased that WADA Court implemented this important issue, who is cheating will be punished. No acceptance for cheaters. And I would like to send, say that we must protect clean sport, clean athletics, and clean athletes must be highlighted and promoted highly. Assistance in fight of the doping we also must share with our member federation, provide them different information and of course different knowledge. 
And of course, I'm not forgot, I would like to say a few words about transparency and ethics. This area are crucial in our days and we need to be ensure the important role of our sport will be safe and protected through transparency and ethics. Let's speak about very important issue, pillar number six, growing our commercial revenue. We are very solid and financially very good position until 2029. Recently was signed agreement with our marketing partner Dentsu, but we should not stay calm and stop to look to better revenue, to get more finance and to make our sport and member federation more financially supported. And I consider for that it would be great to establish a business commission consisting of the leaders of global brands, marketing and media communities to serve and share experience and knowledge to our sport. But of course, it's important these people who really love athletics and to want to be with us and take the help and lead to make more revenue and more successes to our sport. I consider for that we must run our office as business company, but never forget with love, passion to athletics. I think it's very important to give strong support for the marketing programs on the areas and also for national federation. I know we must do step with our marketing partner to help and provide also strong assistance to generate revenue for the area association and also for national federation. I already started to speak in, in this direction and I feel we can also achieve the change on this important matter. Pillar number seven, strengthen the focus on education. I would like to say that education is really key all the time. Doesn't matter what you achieve, you need to learn, you need to look to improve education in all the time, every day. And I would like to, to remind the words of outstanding personality when Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And I think in this way, we need to, to go to provide education for our athletes during the career and also to help them to integrate after sports career. For that, our scholarship for young athletes, education for young athletes, for coaches, officials, technician and our staff will be priority to lift their level of knowledge and also to help to prepare their successful future. For that I would like to create scholarship for the top international sport master post graduated programs for national federation and area association representatives involve universities and different programs courses distance learning to make our people, our family, our staff, our athletes to be very, very educated and prepared to achieve new goals. Now, final, I would like to, to start from line eight regarding the pillar number eight, playing the leading role in driving social change. Athletics is much more than just sport. Athletics for society and global health, I think, can do a lot. We have really universal sport, which has running, jumping, throw, walking. I think no other sport can give such an opportunity. For that, through athletics, I believe we can change society. We can build healthy society. And of course, we can take the kids from the streets to show them right direction, to enjoy sport, to enjoy athletics. And of course, we will develop through sport really great citizen, really great generation. For that, I consider that important to, to use strongly link with NGOs, with UNICEF, with different foundations who wants to change our youth, who wants to change 
for better life of kids and especially from the area where they need our guidance. We, through sport, I believe we can open the door. We can build better society. And of course, our athletes, our role models, our heroes must be also given their tips, give something back to society, to encourage people to do sport and especially kids follow their great sports career and to achieve also good results. I would like to say that IWL should pay attention to environmental awareness and green project. We must to pay attention what kind of stadiums will be built and used for the people in different parts of the world. And of course, finally, I would like to say a little bit more regarding my passion, my love. I know that athletics give me everything. And of course, every day I try to give back to sport, to athletics. And I'm very pleased to serve athletics family. I know many great results must be achieved together as one team, all together. When we're united, we are very strong. Strong because we love athletics. We have strong passion and I believe we can do a lot for our sport. Thank you for your time, for your attention, and for me would be great opportunity to listen to you, to have your questions, and with great pleasure, I would like to respond to your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vupka, for those, such an emotional presentation. It was very thrilling, really. And so, now we have uh, guests from Google Hangout from uh, other uh, countries and now the uh, media representatives it's time for you to ask the question as uh, from the left to right uh, here earphones for Mr. Vuka and some for me so we can now hear you uh, starting from the left to right in our, in our line uh, we have Brian Pinelli nice to meet you Brian how are you Please unmute your microphone and you can ask uh, the question, Brian. Hello, Sergey. Nice to see you. Hello, hello, Brian. Same to me to, to see you. A few weeks since we saw each other in, in Prague at the indoor athletics uh, competition. Sergey, I, I know you touched upon it a little bit and you talk about all these youth development programs as part of your, part of your many pillars. But, but it seems that athletics is, has a demographic that's skewing older and older and maybe, maybe not attracting as much youth to, to watch the sport, you know, to come to meets and just to be very enthused about it. What, what can we do in this day and age of sports to keep athletics cool, hip, young, and uh, talk a little bit more about potential new events and, and mixed gender events as, as you spoke about a little bit earlier as well. Thanks, Sergey. Brian, thank you very much for your question. It's you, you touch a very important point. For some reason, we feel a little bit concerned and of course we are happy. But I think it's also the big area in the use how we can grow. And even today, this possibility through social media communicate. And I think we must be more proactive to present our sport, to present our heroes, their history, to give belief also to the kids that they have opportunity to, to be successful. They can also see the champion of our sport. They are not born as champion. They, can, they become champion. For that, we must to use social media to promote, to communicate. And also, we need to speak on the same language. I think it would be great to open, it's like use forum, to get the ideas, to listen to them, what they're interested in, what should be great to offer them. For that, we, will, we must be very attractive. I, attractive. I cover already regarding the, the school levels. And it's like here in Ukraine, we have special program for, for kids, uh, grade five and uh, six. When we start in young age, 
age around 10 years old, this is very important to catch them, to bring interest to athletics. For that, I consider kids athletics, youth athletics, it's really, really crucial. And such a competition like Karifta must be developed, must be promoted and supported by IWF in different parts of the world. And of course, as I said before, uh, mixed gender competition. This area is very attractive. And I know in Caribbean, they already do different distance, different mixed gender competition. And I consider this is the way how we can do also different relay, different, different races. And also we saw that very well also in youth uh, Olympic games. For that, this is direction where we must to pay attention. Thank you. So uh, the technologists need that we put away these earphones when answering. So sorry for this. Uh, Ms. Uh, Brian, do you have any more questions? Uh, to just brief follow up, challenge you a little bit, Sergey. Do, do you have maybe some, uh, you know, some some example of a of a new event that could possibly implement it? A lot of tradition and heritage in in track and field, but but is there room for uh, for new events? No, I think this is decision of uh, IWF. For that, I consider we must to discuss, we must to look, we must uh, take the best practice and best example. As you know, this year will be second time we have World Relay. And this is very exciting event, which we must continue to develop, where we must to, to go with some creativity and new, new ways and some new, new events. For that, I think it would be great to analyze and to implement and bring this event. I don't see, this is depends of IWF, it depends of our athletics family, what we would like to bring in. Thank you, Brian. Yeah. So the next in turn is Mr. Guy Aspen from Press Association, but I'm afraid he can't uh, hear us and Kai show us that he can hear. So we're going to Mr. Carlos Groman from Raiders. Carlos, can you hear us? Hello, please unmute Yes, him. hello. Oh, nice to see you. Nice. Thanks for joining us. Carlos, you can ask your questions to Mr. Bubka. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Hi, Sergey. Hi, Carlos. My question is going to be more on, on, the, on the review and, 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 and possible creation of new revenue streams for athletics. Where do you see these new revenue streams coming from? Um, and what do you see as the changes that you propose to be attractive to new sponsors and broadcasters? Thank you. Well, I, as I said, its rev revenue will be very, very important. And we have already agreement with Denso until 2029, but I know situation for the area and national federation. I already discussed with them and I asked how they can see possibility to help for our area association to be like marketing partner. And they consider it will be possibility and uh, we need to continue and strengthen this uh, way of cooperation and help from their side. I consider national federation for the marketing also. There the can be also maybe some opportunity to bring some sponsors of the uniform for our national federation to find additional revenue for the national federation. Also it's already exist maybe some ideas when will be possible to look for some global sponsors who will provide money and give more support to, to our sport. Because if we go to individually, it might be some strong federation will receive some national sponsor. But if we look globally for all federation, this is, will be much bigger revenue and then to consider this direction also will be possible. I believe, as I said, for the kids, for youth, we can also attract more possibility for, to, for some foundation to engage, who share our values, who share our vision to support the youth, to support kids. This is, I consider, this is important area to move. If we look to road running, if we look to, to, to marathon, and we can see they also licensing 
It's giving to national federation very good revenue. This revenue they can invest to the event and the profit they can invest to athletics. And I consider for the future we need to also look to this direction because this area could be very helpful to generate additional money. I would like to say we need to look format of our world championships. And I think it's a very important issue how many days will be our championships. For that, if we study deeply with our broadcasters, with our sponsors, with member federation, do some deeper analysis how we can change and what we can do, day less or day more, this is, I think, it's important for our future revenue. But of course, it's today we must to go and do a very deep study how make our competition at attractive, successful, and to present it better to make better revenue. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vuka. Carlos, can you hear us? Can you uh, uh, any more question? You can ask one more question. Yes, if I can, if I can uh, just ask on, on what you just said, Sergey, regarding the, the global sponsorship. Would that be something along the lines of, of the top program of the IOC? That is, that certain number of companies will have a direct deal with the IAAF rather than with national federations or, 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 or regional federations? Thank you. Thank you. No, of course, it's, it's IAAF has uh, own direction in this area. We need to, to look how to attract our sponsors, our partners. And the IOC has a uh, really good uh, top program, which is really contribute a lot to the National Olympics Committee. And for that, I, I said it would be great to strengthen our uh, relation with Olympic solidarity programs through the National Olympic Committee to help National Federation to be strongly involved in the Olympic solidarity programs. And this additional revenue will be. And of course, I consider we need to work with our marketing program and as I said, the area and national federation needs to be guide and assisting more how to make better revenue for them through marketing program. And I believe we can use the knowledge and experience and we will assist and guide them through our uh, marketing program. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bubka. And we also have Mr. Matt Cutler from Sport Business. Matt, can you hear us? Hello? I can. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Thank you. you Great. Hi, so me, um, Hi Matt. I didn't quite realize I was going to have my face on screen, so I haven't done my makeup, so <laughs> apologies for my scruffy look. Um, I just wanted to ask uh, one question, really. You mentioned creating a new position of IAAF CEO. C could you just go into a bit more detail about um, why you think that needs to happen and also what type of person you'd be looking for to fill that role? Well, and of course uh, we will look if needed to, the, we must to have really experienced and very top specialists. As I mentioned in my program, in my vision, that the professionalists of the staff on the level of IWF, on the level of area and national federation, this is the key issue to have successful development of athletics on all this uh, level. In, uh, especially IWF, you asked me a question regarding the CEO. We have uh, general secretary, I consider this position is very important, but I see practically the general secretary involved with many things. It's overloaded with the work. For that, I consider to maintain general secretary with certain way of responsibility and focus to work and also to have possibility to also look a little bit forward for next steps and work together with the president. But also for CEO position, this is very important to write professional person who will organize the work of all departments to deliver excellent service. And this important issue to have the key people and very high professional person who should do the job together with our office staff. Thank you. Matt, do you have any more questions? 
Uh, yes, um, kind of along the same lines, really. Um, you mentioned the setting up a business commission to almost work as an advisor to the IWF and various um, commercial strategies. Could you just talk through why you think that's important? And a bit like in the CEO question, what type of people you'd be looking at to bring in uh, into that business commission? No, I think from the, the, the business community, we can get and we can gain a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge in which way better to present our sport, how to act to the marketing program, how to make better presentation and better uh, broadcasting of our events, how to increase the rating, how to develop the link through these people for some other potential partners and sponsors. For that, I would like to use the business community to be very strongly with us for that as that we need to run as business company, but we must be very with passion and love because the competition between federation, between sport, is so important and so crucial. And of course, it would be great to use the knowledge and experience of such a people to help us to move and build successful future. Thank you. We, we have also questions. Uh, we don't need not now these earphones. We have more questions from Mr. Steve Wilson, who, is, who cannot uh, ask them. I don't know why, maybe some technical problems, but I hope he is, watches us uh, through the YouTube uh, broadcast. So, the question from uh, Mr. Steve Wilson, Associated Press. He sent it to us previously for, for, the, um, for our mailbox. So, should the IWF consider suspending any national federation, such as uh, Russia, which have an especially high uh, number of doping cases? This was a question from Mr. Steve Wilson. Well, as I said before, it should be no excuse to anyone who violate and breach the rules. And we will be very strong for cleaning our sport. And of course, the athletes or entourage who is violate the rule, and I already mentioned regarding the sanction, we must act very, very strong. For that, I know with the water court, I remember at that time, I already was involved with IUC and uh, we work together for WADA creation, we work for, for WADA court rules, regulation in all this issue. And for me at that time it was very, very complicated issue because from a legal point of view you would like to do many more sanctions, you would like to do more punishment, but to combine legally, it's always create the issue and also the human rights. For that, I consider we need to work together. We need to study legally how we can strengthen our position, in which way we can put sanction. If we need to put sanction of the National Federation, which violate, I believe this issue needs to have very deep study. But as I said, we will keep zero tolerance and we do and we must protect clean athletes, clean athletics. Thank you. Uh, so uh, there is another question from Mr. Tim Witcher from AFP. Uh, there are actually two questions, but uh, the um, uh, first one, uh, uh, Mr. Mupka said about first one, about take, making athletics more exciting. It was uh, a long part of uh, his presentation. So uh, to, to save some time, we are uh, speaking about the second question. Mr. Bubka is an IOC vice president. What uh, will you do if the IOC says the number of athletics events at the Tokyo Games has to be cut? to make way for the new sports? Well, as I mentioned, it's number one Olympic sport is athletics and our uh, position is very strong. And as I mentioned, we should work very close with the IUC regarding the development and presentation of athletics competition. And of course, we need to look in which better way to present athletics, to make excited and more attractive athletics. For that, I consider is universal, is unique sport, and the program should maintain our 
events and our discipline in Olympic program. And I believe in collaboration with the IUC, we will uh, we have really a lot of questions, but uh, some kind of limited time. So I would like to propose to Mr. Bubko to say some final word, maybe. For, for the presentation and for, for our media representatives and for the National Federation's representatives, our friends, our colleagues who are watching you, very good numbers of, of watching our um, broadcast, I suppose. So, some, some final, final words and final mood and final inspiration. No, thank you very much, Alex. Uh, dear colleagues, dear friends, uh, thank you very much for all of you to join us today and thanks of uh, digital era to have this opportunity and I think we will have more time to discuss and this process of discussion, sharing and developing successful future together, we can do only together. We must be realistic, it will be a lot of challenges but I'm not afraid because we are strong athletics family, we are united, we will be together and we must hurt each other. And I consider from my side, if you entrust me the position, I will do utmost to make athletics successful, to bring athletics to new heights, but I know we can succeed only together. Strong National Federation, strong IWF. Thank you very much, dear friends, dear journalists, to be together today. And see you soon. Thank you, thank you very much. So um, this was a launch of the program of Mr. Bubka, the IWF presidency candidate. Um, you can up, you can download the program of Mr. Bubka at the sergeybubka.com, and you, as many representatives and also national federations, will surely receive and have received already uh, the program. Uh, if we didn't manage to uh, answer all of the questions, uh, the, there are plenty of questions for our mail uh, box. Uh, where, uh, the Mr. Bubka is always available and open for any communications with Mary and with everybody. So thank you for being with us and uh, as, said, as Mr. Bubka said, see you soon. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.